Alright guys, in this video we're going to be talking about how to find your niche and the importance of a niche. So, um, for example, um, in real estate, which I'm a real estate guy and an online guy, real estate has many, many different factors. There's rentals, there's flipping houses, there's wholesaling contracts, there's buying um, deeds, there's um, becoming a project manager, wholesaler, there's many different niches. And you, as the individual, need to pick which one works for you best. Okay, so um, I started off wholesaling, then I got rentals, and then I started flipping. And I know out of the three, which one I like the most. First is renting, second is flipping, last is wholesaling. Because I tried all of them and I knew. Sorry, my partner's down there, you know, working out in our gym. So, now, so let's go into the first step when it comes to finding your niche. You need to figure out what is passionate for you and what you want to be involved in. If you love cars, go into the car niche. But even from there, narrow it down. Do you like old school, new school? Do you want to be a salesperson or do you just want to be a mechanic in the auto niche? You can go very narrow in a niche. You can be like, I only make rims for, for old school cars. Um, and I only make rims for old school car Chevys. So being a niche specific can help you get clear. And here's the thing and the power of a niche. Not everybody can dominate a niche. For example, Apple dominates the phone market. But do they dominate the, uh, let's say, the tablet market? Probably, uh, maybe they, maybe don't. I don't know. Amazon does sell a lot of Kindles, but who knows what they dominate. But the thing is, they can't dominate everything as big as they are. Okay, they're trying to get into TVs. That's a new niche that they have to conquer. Okay, because someone else owns that niche. All right, guys. So now, after you have picked your niche, now it's time to become a master of that niche. I mean, know every ins and out. For example, if you chose a niche of um, I'm gonna make rims or I'm gonna provide people with the best rims for old school Chevy cars, then you need to know everything about Chevy cars, everything about the rims. You need to be a master to the point where when it's time for you to sell your product or service, people automatically trust you because they know you are the authority in that niche, okay? After that, you need to add value after you learn all this information. Share this information, share your product or service with others so that they fall in love with you, okay? After you shared and added 10x value to their lives, then, and only then, that's when you start designing products and you start providing services and you start team working with other people to get something out on the marketplace that people can buy. So quick overview on why niches are important. You can dominate a smaller niche. For example, you can't dominate the car niche. It's already dominated. But you can dominate the electric car niche before Elon Musk does it. But I would advise hairing up. <laughs> um, the second step is to know what you're passionate about and fall in love with that niche and head that way. Okay. Kobe was great at basketball because he loved basketball. Okay. He did it one day. Oh, man, I got to go to practice every day. He loved playing. Okay. Even after the season was over, everybody else took six months. Kobe took two weeks off and got right back to it. So find what's passionate for you. After you are, you find what you're passionate about, then you learn everything about it. And it should be easy because you're passionate about it. And then after that, then you roll out the products and the services. Okay. And then you add 10x value to the individual's life. And they'll be gladly to pay you their money. Okay. Now... You can do the shortcuts, but I advise doing it this way. You can just, oh, I'm going to start this business. I'm going to start selling. Okay, go ahead. But in order for people to buy from you, first they need to know you, like you, trust you, and then they'll pay you. All right, guys, this is Christian again. I hope that video was clear enough for you. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.